friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm stuffing $307 into my envelopes for the third week of May. And I'll be honest and tell y'all that my spending has been out of control this past week. Um, my body finally was like, ooh, you're on vacation mode. You're not working as much. And then she spent a lot of money. So I'm going to probably need to pay for some things last week with this week's money, but I'm going to stuff my envelopes today, which is Friday. Um, a day early than I usually do and then I'm gonna like go back and pay myself back for all the things and then if I need to get more spending money I'll pull it out of my side hustle paycheck for week three so it's been a hot mess but let's count and see if we have 307 so we have 50 100 120 140 150 160 170 180 190 and 200 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, 275, 280, 285, 290, 295, 300, 301, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 307 is what we're working with today. The week that I'm filming this, I had posted some behind the scenes videos of my Etsy store as well as my setup here and um, y'all seem to enjoy those so I'm thinking I might start doing more Etsy related videos and if I do I'm gonna have to cut back some other videos just to make time for it all. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this plan. I'm thinking since I get paid monthly maybe I stuff my envelopes with my regular paycheck just once at the beginning of the month and then I stuff weekly for my side hustle um I don't know what do y'all think I'm really curious what you think so let me know but I'm just worried that I'm gonna bite off more than I can chew and then I'm gonna be forever like a month behind on videos so I need to cut back if I'm gonna add new types of videos but trying to do it in a way that makes sense. So let me know what you think, but that is what I'm leaning towards. So I'm going to start with groceries um, and that is getting $50 as it always does. So put that in here. And I'm hoping I won't need to use all of that this week. Um, I thought I wasn't going to this past week, but I ended up overspending and eating out. So I pulled the rest of my grocery money. So that's why it's empty. Eating out is going to get 25 per usual. I do a 10, two fives, and five ones. So we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And I definitely, when I'm credit card debt free, I wanna up my spending envelopes because I've just been overspending a lot. And I think it's just time to give myself more wiggle room. Flex funds is getting 20 and I did a 10 and two fives. So we have 10, 15, and 20. Fun is getting $20 today, which is exciting because I ended up using the fun money last time. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it on, so we'll see. And alcohol is also getting 20 which I just spent like $8 of this, knowing that I was gonna stuff it today, so I'll have to make change for that after this video. Toiletries is empty, so we're just not gonna add any to it. And let's see how much we have left in gas. We have 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, and $38 left in gas. And I need gas, but I can't get gas because we have a gas shortage, so. I'm glad I have money, but I also need gas. So I'm hoping that the pumps get filled and come back on soon. Next up, we have our revolving funds, which we haven't done a good count of these in a while. So let's go ahead and do that today. So Adventures just has $5 and it's not getting stuffed. Boyfriend is empty, unfortunately. Car maintenance is getting $10 today. So let's see what it has now. We have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310, and 320. $320. That's good. I have to go get my state inspection next week, so I'll be using some of that for this. Clothing is not getting stuffed, but let's see what we have. We have 100, 150, and 170 in clothing. 
Electronics just has 10, so nothing really fun to count there. Entertainment just has five. Okay, maybe this is why I haven't been counting them, because they're boring. Fitness and wellness just has five. Gifts just has five. And giving, we're adding a dollar to. So now in giving, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight dollars. Household has five, six, seven, eight dollars. These are all really not looking too hot. I need to beat them all up. And then I just have five dollars. Um, medical, I did buy contacts and go to an eye appointment. So this doesn't have quite as much money as it did before. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 415, 417, and 419. So 419 dollars left for the year. And I think I started with a thousand maybe or 1200, I can't remember, but, um, but I think that will be good to get me through the rest of the year. I've done all my like expensive things hopefully, um, but I will get a hundred dollar rebate um, when I get my contacts. So I might put that in here just for extra expenses if there are any. Self-care has just a $5 bill. I thought there were two in there. Shopping has just a five also. Subscriptions just has the 20. And vacation, we have 50, 70, 95. Really wanna get that to 100. So maybe I'll stuff that this week with my side hustle. Volleyball is getting $5 today. So now we have 10, 15, 20, 25, and 26 dollars. Weddings and Babies has 25, and I've really got to make some headway on that. We've got some weddings in June coming up. And then my one week ahead has 20, 40, 45, and 50. So I need 100 more by August. So that is it for my revolving, just stuffing those three categories today. Now on to my date-specific sinking funds. Uh, my friend's birthday is fully funded. Uh, Father's Day is fully funded, which I need to purchase both of these pretty soon. Fourth of July is fully funded with $50. And we're starting with my boyfriend's birthday, which is getting $5. And so now he has 100, 20, 25, 30, 35, 135. And then today we are adding $5 to my dad's birthday. We took out money that we had stuffed in here to help pay off Mother's Day because I went a little crazy and overspent. So I'm just starting from zero for that. And then Black Friday is also getting $5 today. So now I have $20.35 for Black Friday, which is for me to spend on whatever I want for myself, which is exciting. The goal is $100 and I have 35 and then I don't think we're stuffing anniversary yet, so we'll just keep that on pause. And Big Blue is last. We are going to stuff our usual amounts. So Planner is getting $5 today. So now we have 20, 25, 30, and $35 towards a new planner. Car tax is fully funded with 175 and I'll pay that once I do my inspection. I have to make sure I pass the inspection and then I'll pay it. California is getting $30 today, so a 20 and a 10. And we are putting money in gas today. So that is my last main category that I'm funding in this envelope. The rest of them are in my savings challenge. So gas now has 100, 20, 40, 55, 56, and 57. So 157 towards gas for this trip. I started looking into booking things for this trip and California is expensive. So I might need to over budget for this because I'm not sure we'll have enough for lodging, but we'll see. My friend Lauren's wedding is getting, is she getting 15? Yes. So she'll get a 10 and a 5. 
and we have fully funded several categories including lodging and gift and nails yes nails is fully funded i can't keep track of which ones tan is fully funded and i believe hair is fully funded so we're adding or is hair almost fully funded no hair is so am i i feel like i'm missing something Oh, nails will be fully funded today. I'm, yeah, that's why, because it still needs $10. So now in nails, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. So $75 in nails. I have pre-filled out my tracker. So now it's fully funded with 75. And then the last $5 is going into makeup because that's the next one I'm going to stuff. The goal for makeup is $100 because I want to get my makeup done the day of the wedding for the photos and I will have $5 in there for now. So now for California, I have $1,486 saved for that trip. And for my friend's wedding, we have $455 saved for that. But I need to add some new categories because I got to purchase flights for that and such, so. Christmas is getting $10 today. So now we have 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, and 170 towards Christmas, which is good. And then, oh, my savings challenge, I always forget. I have this bag where I leave some money to stuff specifically for the savings challenge just because clearly I don't underspend much, so I can't really pull from my cash envelopes. And we don't have many numbers left, so let's see what we're stuffing today. $9. So let's do a five and one, two, three, four. And we have five, six, seven, eight, and $9 going in there today. And we won't count it just yet. And just set and forget. These are all the numbers I have pulled so far. And let's see how much we have left. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 dollars. So we do still have two more weeks of the month and I could pull 20 both times, so I might need to put some more money in this bag. And now we can fill out our tracker. So just one, two, three, four, five weeks to go, which is exciting. So that is my savings challenge. And the last thing we are stuffing is my city credit card debt. And we are doing $81 today, which should be the rest of this. So we have 50, 70, 81. Let's just add this to the group of money. So now we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 415, 416, 417, and 418. So 418 dollars towards my city credit card this month, which is great. And I'll stuff this more hopefully with my side hustle income that I do this week on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday or next week, I guess, but for the third week of May. So that's it for me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you think one regular income cash stuffing at the beginning of the month would work and then I just stuff other things with my side hustle income throughout the month or um, if you think that there's a better way to divvy up my videos because I really want to keep it manageable so I can keep pushing out content on time for y'all. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do that would be. So if you have ideas, let me know um, because I want to give y'all what you want to see. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on my side hustle cash stuffing next time. Bye.